Yuki informed Granbel of Mariabelle's demise, caused by her failed attempt to challenge demon lord Rimuru. Despite uncertain reactions, Yuuki, now unconcerned about hiding his true nature, plans to confront Granbel directly, viewing him as a diminished threat. Ah, oh, so Mariabel has passed away. Yes, indeed. We are troubled by this as well. Mariabel manipulated me into fighting demon lord Rimuru. Although my association operates under the council's umbrella and is funded by them, wouldn't that constitute a breach of our contract? I could demand compensation for being stripped of my free will. What transpired between you and Demon Lord Rimuru? It wasn't too dire. While he may suspect you, he likely believes Mariabel orchestrated everything. I deliberately cultivated this perception. I hope you don't hold it against me. I see. Mariabel's demise marks the end of Rosso's aspirations. In that case, we should utilize that lord's hidden artifact and retaliate against Rimuru. That lord's artifact. I'm unaware of what you're referring to. Please refrain from involving me further. Ha, huh? Yuuki, you're astute. Surely you've already deduced it. Deduced what? The god of Luminism is Demon Lord Luminous Sama. Yuuki had suspected as much, but hearing it from Granbel still surprised him. Furthermore, he wondered about Granbel's motive for divulging such a significant secret. Why are you telling me this? My intention. That's a harsh way to phrase it. I am acknowledging you. With Mariabel gone, there's no one better suited to safeguard the Western nations and humanity's future than you. What nonsense. Even if I refrain from action, Rimuru-san will surely find a solution. He genuinely desires coexistence with humans. You're too naive. Mariabel glimpsed the future, but it seems you lack the same foresight. That demon lord, Rimuru, I cannot allow him to exist in this world. Luminous Sama has no interest in our realm, allowing for coexistence. But Rimuru is different. He will bring about humanity's downfall and plunge the world into chaos. Much blood will be shed when that time comes. Your foresight is remarkable. Do you have any proof to support your assertions? It's instinct. Instinct. That's an unusual rationale. My instincts as a former hero compel me to eliminate demon lord Rimuru. You claim to be a hero. You shouldn't jest about such things. Believe it or not, just answer me this. Will you join me in eliminating demon lord Rimuru? Haha, you seek my aid. Engaging in such perilous endeavors serves no purpose. I prefer to maintain my connections. You fool. With Mariabel's demise, we can't afford to hesitate. Even if we leave matters to the Empire, their leadership is excessively secretive. Even the merchants you consort with lack credibility. I'm not demanding your belief, but we could consider joining forces temporarily and fighting together. Let's be frank, what do I gain from this? I can offer you Luminous Sama's secret treasure. And what exactly is this treasure? The ultimate weapon used to seal Veldora. From what I've learned, this individual is renowned as the mightiest hero. I've never had direct contact, but they're safeguarded by Luminous Sama within the Holy Ark. A demon lord protecting a hero. That sounds absurd. Guhaha, don't be so quick to judge. Initially perplexed myself, I've witnessed this individual in action during periodic great wars, a supreme being capable of annihilating all monsters. Is this individual stronger than you were in your prime? I was nowhere near their level. Yuuki trusted Granbel's sincerity. He pondered why the hero left Shizue Izawa and saw an opportunity to control the hero by obtaining the Holy Ark from Luminous, who seemed to have enchanted the hero. If he could break the spell, how intriguing, but I won't blindly trust your words. I expected as much. Here's my proposal, I'll lead an assault, causing chaos inside the Grand Cathedral. This distraction will give you a chance to steal the Holy Ark. What's in it for you then? Isn't Demon Lord Luminous your master? Are you willing to betray her to avenge Mariabel? Absolutely. While I once had a good relationship with Luminous Sama, she has abandoned me now. Ultimately, our bond was only upheld by her agreement not to oppose humanity. If she's siding with Demon Lord Rimuru, then Luminous Sama. No, Demon Lord Luminous is nothing but my enemy. Granbel's hostility was evident, impressing even Yuuki. Reconsidering, Yuuki found merit in Granbel's proposal. Fascinating. While I still harbor some reservations, considering the potential gains, I'm willing to accept the risks. Gohaha, I knew you'd see the wisdom in this. This alliance is temporary, likely our final collaboration. Will you contribute? Absolutely. Given your elaborate scheme, I'll extend some trust. How do we initiate this operation? Well, regarding that, the two delved into a detailed discussion of the plan. And thus, the elder statesmen governing the Western nations and the ambitious Majin seeking global dominion formed an alliance. In the Grand Cathedral, a clash involving the full might of the Rosso family was set to unfold. 
The plan entailed the involvement of agents from the Foreign Intelligence Agency of Siltraso and surviving members of Blood Shadow, along with numerous other worlders summoned by the Rosso family. Additionally, Razul would be summoned from the northern border. I wonder how formidable they'll be with all the Rossos mobilized. Yuki-sama, do you know the whereabouts of this holy ark? Granville has provided detailed information, but we must remain cautious, considering the possibility of deception. I'll handle it, though I'm hesitant to go alone. Can I bring Tear and Footman? While I'm inclined to agree, Tear has another task. Understood. Footman alone should suffice. What's Tear's role? She has a crucial assignment this time. And remember, minimize combat. Our focus is the objective of our visit. In case of danger, retreat immediately. We're not amateurs, we've got that covered. Good. Demon Lord Luminous, who commands Demon Lord Valentine, likely surpasses my prime strength. Laplace, do you understand? Our priority isn't just securing the Holy Ark, but gathering information with minimal risk. Don't worry, we don't owe Grandel anything, and he didn't hire the moderate clown troop either. We'll just do our best with what we have. You make a valid point. I'll lend my assistance this time. After all, Grandel considered this Holy Ark as the weapon for the final battle. Don't you trust us? That stings a bit. No, that's not what I meant. It's reasonable to expect heavy security and traps. I'm just being cautious. While Yuki had faith in Laplace and the team, he couldn't predict what might happen. Failing to strategize properly was unacceptable. I'll follow behind secretly. The operation will proceed at your pace. I see, so we're meant to stall the enemies. That's clever. Worst case scenario, you escape amidst chaos while I secure the objective. The plan was impeccable. Yuki had meticulously reviewed it with Granbell multiple times, confirming Granbell's commitment. This was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, and they couldn't afford to let it slip away. No matter the sacrifice, obtaining the Holy Ark was paramount, Yuki resolved firmly. By the way, what's so special about this Holy Ark? Well, rumor has it that it houses the hero, the one who sealed Veldora. Since she's controlled by Luminas, I intend to decipher the Ark's enchantment and turn her into my pawn. Huh? Could it be? Is this for real? Um, what's going on? Heta, <laughs> this prize is incredibly valuable. Now that we've decided to head east, I'll uncover the secret to mastering the ultimate hero. Realizing the Holy Ark's immense value, they were all thrilled. This was to be expected. If they could manipulate the hero, the one powerful enough to imprison a true dragon, the mightiest species in existence, the aspirations of Cerberus and Yuki for world domination would no longer seem like an unrealistic dream. No wonder boss is still cautious. Indeed. In that case, please allow me to assist in the investigation. Haha, don't get ahead of yourself, Kigali. It's risky to fully trust Granbell's words, despite their credibility. Failure is not an option. Yuki-sama, you can trust me, we won't let you down. Understood. Haha, <laughs> leave it to me. Now, Tear. I didn't anticipate Demon Lord Leon's involvement, but it's only polite to welcome him with a gift. Since we've drawn Leon in, let's make the Rossos appear to be using Cerberus as well. This will lead them to believe we're trustworthy, and we should make Rimuru think that Leon is a cruel tyrant who wanted to capture the children. Exactly. To pull it off, I need the children meant for Leon. Ah, uh, so you want me to handle that? Yes, you'll have to use your real identity, but I trust you won't slip up. Got it. I'll deceive Rimuru with my acting skills. I look forward to it, but that won't be enough. Rimuru is astute and perceptive. He might realize our involvement. That's why I've already discussed with Granbell. Yuki lowered his voice and issued tear her orders. The Majin's malevolence intensified with each passing day. The day of reckoning drew nearer. In the pitch black room, devoid of any illumination. It's clear that I must. I must deal with Demon Lord Rimuru, Demon Lord Leon, and also Luminous Sama. Granbull muttered to himself, his eyes darkening with boundless hatred. This world has taken everything. It's best it crumbles. His quiet yet passionate words were genuine, devoid of pretense. Consumed by madness, Granbull had made his decision. I'd like to thank my supporters for joining the Patreon and welcome Adam Hallmark, Matthias Oliveira, Carl Stefan Bernadel, Kevin Matthew, Carito, Jason Torres, Mickey Soleski, and cheese bean. Thank you for watching my video, and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for the next update.